Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for your one-stop shop of buying or selling coins and solo grinding services. Use code ZERK at checkout for 10% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Xerxes coming at you today with another YouTube video. And today we have 95, 96 overall chem boosted Marshawn Lynch Super Bowl Edition gameplay. So of course, when it comes down to the goal line, we are going to be passing the ball instead of handing it off. Had to take a shot at you Seahawks fans. But you can always take a shot back at me and say the Cowboys haven't reached Super Bowl in uh, forever. Is what it is. <laughs> but Marshawn Lynch is a 96 overall with 92 speed, 91 acceleration. So he's pretty slow. It's whatever. Man's got 99 carrying. He also has 70 catching, 91 elusiveness with a 97 truck. And I did put truck specials on him as well. Uh, he has an 89 break tackle. And I put zone run cam on him, fully powered up. So he has 93 spin, 95 juke moves. So we actually can spin and can juke. And 70 catching is not terrible, terrible. So hopefully Marshawn Lynch will be looking like an absolute beast out there. And uh, it's currently midnight. So hopefully with that being said, all the tryhards are sleeping. And we'll get someone that doesn't have a God Squad. Let's get right into it. So it looks like our opponent does have a pretty solid team. But hopefully, we can just get some good blocks and get Marshawn Lynch going in the run game. So, of course, we're going to start off with a run to the outside. And he's a little bit slow. He does break off a tackle there, but didn't pick up anything. And, of course, second down. We're running the ball again. Marshawn Lynch. See if we can pick up a first down here. Quentin Nelson. Get out of the way, dude. But we did pick up a first down. Actually, I take that back. Third and inches, but guess what? We're running the ball once again. Marshawn Lynch has got truck specialist. 97 trucking. We're going to try to break through someone and see if we can. Okay. I'm, I'm not sure exactly what happened there, but Lynch picked up the first down. Kind of played a little peekaboo, I guess, with the defenders there around Lane Johnson. We're going to come out and run a read option, though. I feel like he might actually uh, overcommit to Marshawn Lynch here. If it looks like LT is, and he is, we're going to run with Michael Vick here. Pick him another first down and head out of bounds for Ronnie Lott pops us. Was not about to take a hit there from Ronnie Lott and probably uh, if injuries weren't mutt, maybe break an arm or something. But let's see if we can get a pass in here. Just kind of show him, hey, I am going to pass the ball still. As it looks like we actually might have Kittle back in the end zone. Nah, never mind. I probably threw that ball just a little bit late. And also, I really don't think he was actually that open. So let's try another pass here. Second and ten. See who's going to get open on this play. As it looks like we actually might have B, I think. Oh, Jerry has him absolutely torched. Jerry Rice all the way down the field. Deion Sanders left in the dust. Now, he, of course, has Tom Gurley on the off to side. So I know he's going to be feeding Gurley. It's going to be a match of Gurley versus Marshawn. Let's see if he's going to run the ball here again or go to the flats. Actually, neither of those. He's trying to run crossers. I'm going to send a quarterback at him. Amos with the interception and that tip drill. Let's freaking go. Amos actually might have a pick six here. See if we can juke out Todd Gurley. No, but all the way down to the 46. I swear he always breaks on that route over the middle. I face that route a lot. And every single time, it seems like he's always breaking on that. Let's see if maybe he's going to read Michael Vick or if he's going to go after Lynch. He actually read on Mike Vick that time, and Lynch can't break that tackle. I just need a clear-cut hole to run through because he really can't beat anyone to the edge. And I'm just going to try and trek over someone as it looks like we actually do have a hole there and picking up about six. We're going to try to run a toss play to the outside here with Lynch. Probably about one of the dumbest things you can do with a slow running back as we pick up four. So we took the field goal, went up by 10, and he's coming out with the ball. And once again, man, he's just feeding Gurley. I will get Marshawn Lynch at least 100 yards and a touchdown. I'm going to make it happen this game. If we can make it maybe 150 yards, two touchdowns, I'll be even happier with that. It's once again, those freaking corner routes, man, they kill me. I swear every single game, I just get beat by corners and I get beat by crossers. I can't guard them. I don't know how. I try protecting the sticks. I've tried asking people. Everyone just says protect the sticks. I protect the sticks. Nothing works against it. I just cannot seem to stop it. Sometimes I get lucky, and my cornerback would just be in the right position and intercept it. Besides that, I can't beat it. Second and eight, I would personally probably run like a halfback draw here. It looks like he's going to be running the ball. He is actually running the ball with Todd Gurley. He has Franco Harris in the game, so this might be a fullback dive. And it's going to be a toss play actually to the outside, and I got caught up in like three different blockers there somehow. I'm going to assume this is a run play here. He is chewing clock, and it is going to be a run. And I, wow, okay, still can't stop him. Luckily, Wagner was right there to get that tackle because he stiff-armed Jamal Adams, and he was about to house that. So, 
Luckily, Bobby Wagner with Secure Tackler was able to bring him down. Second and five, though, he might run it again. Is he going to run it? No, he's not going to run it. He's actually going to be passing it. He does have a flat right out there, and wow, okay. Okay, that was very unfortunate for my opponent. <laughs> All right, so that was really weird. Uh, my user was right there. I messed it up badly. I didn't even see that we routed him. And then I stripped him, or maybe it was incomplete. I guess it was incomplete. And Deion Sanders came by and basically just scooped it up. So <laughs> it is what it is, I guess. Marshawn Lynch, though, hitting the spin move. Can we hit him with it? Oh, oh, Marshawn! Can we house this one? Please don't. Oh, man. Marshawn hit him with a little wiggle stick. Is that Marshawn Lynch or is that LaShawn McCoy? I don't know. But I just went like this a little bit and just completely juke him out. I didn't juke at all. I just kind of moved the left stick. But a nice freaking run there from... Ooh, I thought he was about to fumble. 38. Let's see if we pick up this first down. If not, I'm probably just going to end up taking my field goal here and go up by 13 points, I guess. But it looks like B's going to be open. Jerry Rice, another touchdown, up by 17. He's coming out in five wide, and I honestly feel like my secondary might be better than all of his receivers. So I'm running man-to-man -man here, and he actually does have me beat on that crosser, but LT coming in for the sack. So on third down, we got there with four pass rushers. I'm sending five people at him here on third and 14. Third and 14, fourth and 18 here. See if we can stop him, get the ball back, maybe punch it on the goal line with Marshawn Lynch as we get the sack there again to Marcus Ware. And it looks like that is actually going to be the end of this game. Marshawn Lynch had eight rushes for 85 yards, zero touchdowns, but two broken tackles. So hopefully he doesn't quit the game. Is he going to quit? Ah, he actually did quit. So with that being said, let's get into, I guess, the next game. Let's try to pound the rock here with Marshawn Lynch on the very first play. As it looks like Lynch is going to maybe fall forward, pick up six. Third and eight, why not run a triple option here, Mike Vick? See exactly what that linebacker reads, and then we'll make our decision off that. We're going to hand it off here to Todd Gurley. Hit the outside. Gurley with the spin move. I don't think he picked up the first, though. Fourth and one, all I need is a first down, but honestly, I might chuck it deep if he's going to try and, like, not play it deep as it looks like we're not trying to reroute someone. Please come back for that ball, Hill. Tyreek, and uh, that, 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 was, that was just bad. Why did he just do that? Why did this man just disrespect me like that? Basically, just had to chuck it up because there wasn't anything open, at least that I saw. I know my last game played with the uh, Larry Fitzgerald, like the running back was wide open at some point during the game, and like 10 people timestamped it. I'm blind, is what it is. But Tom Brady is a mobile. Second and 16, let's see if we get another sack here, as I'm so tired of playing that play right there. And Ryan Shazier coming in with the user pick. I, I honestly want to stiff arm Tom Brady. Is that bad? No. Okay, I was going for the pick six. I don't know why I just, like, I legit thought about slowing down, letting Brady get close enough to me, and trying to stiff arm him. I don't know why I wanted to do that, but I guess because the way this guy, like, juked back, I just wanted to stiff arm Tom Brady. But we're up 7 nothing, so the way I see it, uh, that pass to Tyreek Hill was a touchdown. That's how I'm going to rule it. It wasn't an interception. It was, in fact, a touchdown pass. Tyreek Hill broke three tackles, ran into the house. That's how I see it. Second and 10, though, it looks like he's probably taking a deep shot here as he reroutes someone and takes another sack. Is he going to run the ball here in third and 19, or is he just running the three tight end set? What's he doing? Is he running? No, he's going to be passing it here, but he has three tight ends out there. See what he's going to go to, and he's going to go to the ground. Lawrence Taylor, man, once again. Let's see if we can get some pressure here. Fourth and 27. I'm not going to give him enough time for the receivers to even get down the field, so he's going to have to chuck it up and hope that someone just makes a crazy good play here. That could have been bad. First and goal. What do you do, Seahawks fans? You hand the ball off to Marshawn Lynch. Now, let's just say this was a Super Bowl. What would have happened? Okay, let's say this is first and goal. It's not second and goal. You don't see that second. Replace it with a first. First and goal. Hand the ball off to Marshawn Lynch. This is what would have happened for you, Seahawks fans, if you would have just ran the ball. Now, before anyone gets butthurt, if you're a Seahawks fan... Don't get mad. I'm just messing around. Leave me down below a comment about Cowboys fans. I know there is a lot, a lot of stuff to say, but uh, stop in there for a game of four. Even with how slow Marshawn Lynch was, though, we were still able to make it around the corner there on the goal line and get it for the touchdown. As on second and six, he run that tight end play again, as it looks like he's been going there, and I knew he was going there, and completion. Is he finally going to run the ball out of this formation? No, he refuses to run the ball. He's just going to keep passing the ball. And once again, he goes to Ricky Williams, and that's going to be another touchdown. Third and seven. Let's see if this slow man can pick up the first down here in a toss play. As it looks like I don't think he knows it's a toss. 
Does he know? No, I don't think he does. Let's try and hit the outside here. Marshall Lynch hit a spin move and break off tackle. Could have just broke that one last tackle, man. That first game, we were definitely having a lot more success running the ball. We're not doing so hot in this gameplay or in this game. Fourth and six, though. Let's even pick up a first down here to somebody. Try and reroute Kittle maybe up the field. If he's going to be open, try and reroute maybe Tyree Kittle to the right. Go, Tyree. Go, 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 go. First down. Thank you, Tyreek Hill, for catching that pass. Hit the outside, and Hill is going all the way down to the 46. So now we're in my three tight end set, which is the first time that actually Franco Harris is going to see the field this game. Uh, the 80, the 94 overall, that is. Marshall Lynch hitting the outside here. Truck over a safety. He actually did, but then Bobby Wagner came in, too. Third and 15. We need to pick up a first down here. So, of course, I'm not going to try to run the ball because that's not going to work with Marshawn Lynch with his speed. But let's see if maybe we can find someone open in the passing game as I don't know who that is. Okay, I had to wait for the buttons to pop up. But Randy Moss wide open and picking up a first down. Second and nine. 40 seconds left. We're going to run a halfback draw here with Marshawn Lynch and all the way down to the 10. I really am trying to feed Lynch so far. He has 12 carries, but it's just can't really do much. Like, he knows we're trying to run the ball a lot. So it kind of makes it hard to run the ball when he knows you're running the ball. But Marshawn Lynch into the end zone for the touchdown. Now I know exactly what he thought that he saw in that play, but he's not going to do it again. Third and 36, a right bumper was actually open on that play. He's running four verticals as that's going to be intercepted. Champ Bailey with the pick, and we're all the way down to the 30. And it looks like that is actually going to be the end of this game as well. I believe we had 30 rushing yards, 40 rushing yards, maybe with a touchdown. Uh, and two broken tackles for Marshawn Lynch. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, smack the like button, subscribe, and comment. If you guys see some more gameplays, let me know down below who you guys want to see. I'll see you guys next time.